Now, the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum has more than 60,000 objects in its collection, including nationally significant pieces. And now they're giving you the opportunity to put your hands on history. Fox 21's John Martin has more from downtown Colorado Springs. Hey, Johnny. Good morning. Uh, we have been here all day talking about uh, how we got here, how the history of Colorado Springs. And it's kind of, we, we, we've gone from the bottom floor to the top here. Uh, Mr. Mayberry, the director uh, of the museum. And, and this is what we're looking at. This is current Colorado Springs. We've seen the history. This is now what we're looking at. Kind of explain how, as a museum director, you know, you, you, you see this happen. You see the history and, and, and how we got here. Well, we're up in the clock tower, the bell tower of the museum. And I, which is not open to the public. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, because of the stair access, we can't yeah. allow the public up here. But uh, it's a good place for me to go to remind myself why we do all that we do. Um, I mean, we collect and preserve artifacts uh, of our past that document our past, but we do so for the community. And this is a, a great view of the community that we live in, um, that we love, and that we, we want to engage in our past. So that's why we're up here, is just to get a great shot. Plus, I think it's one of the best views in town. Oh, absolutely. It's beautiful. And we were just talking about how, how green it is this year, it yeah. seems. It's, uh, and you, you really do. You, 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 we're standing in a building that was uh, designed by Augustus J. Smith, A.J. Smith, in 1903. It opened to the public. We're in one of two downtown bookend uh, city parks that were created with, yeah. with the founding of the city. Um, and so we're a little bit of respite, uh, you know, a little bit of a park-like atmosphere right in the heart of downtown in perhaps the most iconic building in sure. the state of Colorado. Um, and it's just a great way for people to, you know, spend a little time, um, find their role in the community's Absolutely. history and, uh, you know, engage in this place that we all love. Absolutely. Um, I got to ask one favor of you. Sure. Um, can I ring the bell? Oh, I suppose. All right. How do we, uh, is, are we going to throw everyone's day off? Well, we may have people wondering what time it is. <laughs> okay, so we're at, we're at the bell tower. Sorry, i got to get my cords out of your way. We don't need my tripping. This, so we're standing on top of the clock right yeah. now. Right below us is where the clock is. Uh, the cable you see here is connected to the bell, which is in the next floor up above us. All right. And if you just pull down and release, you'll ring it. Everybody's like, what? I'm late. I'm not at where I'm going. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, that's it. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Uh, it, it, it really is. Uh, it, it's a wonderful time here at the Pioneers Museum. It's free to the public Tuesday through Saturday. You come on down. You get to taste what, uh, what our history has been like, where we're going. Uh, guys, I, I couldn't encourage you enough to come down and see the, the great stuff that's going on here in downtown Colorado Springs at the Pioneers Museum. Come on, Johnny. I want you to ring it one more time. Just, 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 just a couple more pulls. I gotta hear it. One more time. Yeah. Come on. Just do it. Okay. Okay. I know. It's, it's, there's a, there's a, <laughs> there's a symphony of lawnmowers now. He's like Quasimodo. Okay, we're really gonna throw people off. I feel like. <laughs> I don't feel like this. Oh, come on. Really? I feel what? like you're not being responsible journalists and throwing people off like, it's 4 o'clock now? I don't understand what happened. Yeah. Yeah. We, don't want to start ha married. we don't want to start happy hour too early. the bell for the whole city to hear. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks so much. I know. Uh, hey, also, I, I got to say real quick, worst, worst volleyball player ever, Justin. Yes. Worst volleyball player Agreed. ever. You, you owe... You owe that place a, a new I, ball. I, I owe a new I, ball yeah. no furries. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I'm really Still a good, good time. at volleyball. <laughs> we'll get Kimberly next time. She's yeah. tall. All right. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> the Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum is home to artifacts dating back hundreds of years. The museum features permanent exhibits of the history of the area and change in exhibits of topics of broad interest. Fox 21's John Martin live downtown with more. Good, good morning. Good morning. I, I'm going to cut right to the chase because I have never <laughs> seen... What Mr. Ma it makes a lot more sense. Uh, you know, Ms. Mayberry just talked about it. What are, we, what are we standing in front of? Because this is this is good. We're in the museum's newest exhibit. It's called the Minus Tut, the Penrose Tut Partnership, uh, about the really important uh, and critical uh, impact that Charles Tut and Spencer Penrose have played in the community. Sure. We have objects in here that have never been seen by the public, seen by the public, <laughs> and the whole joke here is that included in the collection is a, a glass eye 
that was used by Spencer Penrose. Like, that's his legitimate eyeball. Yeah. Uh, well, it's his fake eye. Well, okay, um, yes. yeah, you know. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Spencer Penrose had a, a false eye, had this one manufactured for him. It was uh, loaned to us for this exhibit and, again, has never been seen by the public. So Bravo. We can do this all morning. <laughs> and can, can, can you tell that story you were just telling us a little bit ago? That there's He had several different... The, the, the story goes that he had, he had multiple eyes that he used. Um, Spencer Penrose enjoyed uh, a drink, an adult Bases. beverage, yeah. Um, yeah. and so he had one that was extra bloodshot uh, for the morning <laughs> after. Exactly. Um, but, you know, the, the important thing is sure. to, to connect the community to this person who has given millions and millions of dollars yeah, to the community. His name's all over, Penrose Hospital, etc. cetera. Um, but it's, he's a person that is hard to get your hands around, right. and our job is to help people Tell make that story. connection. And, yeah. Yeah. And, and you have another one over here, if we can walk yeah. over here and kind of explain what's behind this case. Well, this is exciting because it, it's part of the museum's collection. Um, this is a travel valise that was owned by Spencer Penrose. You might be able to see on the brush there, uh, the initials SP. Um, and this is essentially his toiletry bag. So this would have been where he kept his perfumes, uh, shaving equipment, other things that you'd have when you were traveling. It's monogrammed, and it, the exciting thing is that this was donated to the museum's collection. It's one of the few items that we have in our collection uh, specifically related to Spencer Penrose. First time again that has been seen by the public. Yeah, and, it's, and, and it, like you were saying, it kind of helps put all the pieces together and explain this man and, and again what he did for this city and this whole this whole area. Our job is to connect people to the past of this of this community in this region and it's things like this that helps do that. All right well there's just a little bit more there's there's just there's so much here and we're gonna get our, our hands on something next uh, and, and, and talk about the hands-on history event here at the Pioneers Museum but for now we'll toss it back to you guys. He looks so cultured there with all the very, art behind him and everything. Very cultured yeah. yes that's he's like cultured <laughs> milk. <laughs> What? I don't know. Okay. The Colorado Springs Pioneers Museum is home to artifacts dating back hundreds of years. The museum features permanent exhibits on the history of the area and change in exhibits on topics of broad interest. Fox 21's John Martin live downtown with more from the Pioneers. Good morning, Kimberly and Justin. Yeah, apparently at 7.30, downtown Colorado Springs uh, comes alive. I'm out here with Matt Mary, the director of the Pioneers Museum. There's a lot going on here. A lot. Yes. And you're standing in front of something that's going on here. This, you're getting a facelift. That's right. We're in phase three of our exterior restoration project. Um, they are doing a thorough cleaning. You can see right behind me the north section of this building has already been cleaned. You can compare that to the rest of the building. Um, but more importantly, we're repairing a century of wear and tear to the outside of the building, decorative stonework that's been damaged. Um, if you look closely, you can see a lot of damage that will be cleaned up over the next couple of months. And uh, this is phase three of a five-phase project. Uh, hopefully by 2016, we will be, uh, the building will be uh, essentially brand new, ready for another century of service to the community. Yeah, and, and we were talking, when was the last time this actually happened? When was the last time we got a facelift here? Really, there hasn't been one. Right. Um, so this is the first major exterior restoration project uh, since the building opened in 1903, and so it's, it's time. And, and as a director, how does that kind of make you feel to know that all the hard work that you've, you've gone through to, 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 to raise these funds is, is, is going to, it, to this and you get to see, everyone gets to experience kind of your joy. Well, like every other artifact in our collection, our job is to protect it. Right. And so we're in the middle of protecting this piece and making sure that um, it, it survives and can continue to be a landmark for downtown. Um, but also documents our history. Absolutely. Uh, and another important message to tell people, just because you see the cones outside and the ropes, <laughs> on, when you walk inside, it's, it's, it's still open and it's still beautiful and it's still full of, of, uh, of just really rich history. Absolutely. We're, we're open throughout the project. We've got a streetscape improvement project going on as well, but none of that disrupts our public hours. Uh, and anything else you want the people watching uh, at home to know about what you guys offer here uh, throughout the year? The best way uh, for people to engage in the museum is through our website, which is www.cspm.org. You can find out about all of our current activities, volunteer opportunities, other programs that are going on. Um, we're right downtown at 215 South Tejon Street. Uh, I can also give the number. Uh, it's 385-5990 if people can hear me. Yeah, exactly. No, and it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a wonderful afternoon. It's free to come here. Go have a burger at the Green Line Grill down the street park. Walk around, enjoy this beautiful downtown that we have here. 
Uh, but yeah, it's free, it's fun. I've learned a lot. I'm excited. I'm going to come back and and I hope you guys will uh, will join me. Oh, I, would, I would love to join you, it's John. I think you and I could have a fun little date. Just you and me, buddy, rolling through the museum and holding hands and all that stuff. I think so. <laughs> through the hall. Yeah, all right, good stuff. Thanks, Thanks John. Thanks so much.